Well, Sam could have been a long lost relative. See? <laughs> yes, right. But do you have anybody from Tennessee in your uh, background? Uh, no, they were all from Ireland. Or Ireland. Yeah, well, of course, you know. McGee. Bunch of, bunch of Irish ne'er do wells. That <laughs> <laughs> I got some of them in my family, too. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, geez. What's going on, Debbie? Pulling her over. That red light she just ran. <laughs> you don't have to, to use sign language like that with the police, Deb. <laughs> I think, there she goes. She was frozen for a minute. Yeah, yeah. All right. Where are you, is everything okay then? Are we you got me okay and, and all that? Okay, so let me, uh, we're, we're being recorded now. We're live on Facebook. So now I'm going to go to uh, Sam McGee and we're going to get started. All right. Okay, go ahead. All right, so let's see. Where is it here? Here we are. Okay, so. We're going to get started. So, my friends, this is uh, this is a, a poem that I that I heard when I was in the eighth grade and fell in love with it. Then I had to, in fact, not only was I in love with it, I had to memorize the thing. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let let me let me begin. Uh, the cremation of Sam McGee, a poem by Robert Service. Ah, there are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge. I cremated Sam McGee. And now Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blooms and blows. While he, why he left his home in the south to roam round the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but that land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. Jim's on. It was on a Christmas day we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your gold through the Parker's fold. It stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we'd close, then the lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see. And it wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow and the dogs were fed and the stars our head were dancing heel and toe he turned to me in caps says he i'll cash in this trip i guess and if i do i'm asking you you won't refuse my last request well he seems to know that i couldn't say no and he says with a sort of moan, it's this cursed cold and it's got right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. It taint being dead, it's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. But a pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. And we started on at the streak of dawn. Oh, to God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I hurried, horror-driven, with a corpse half-head that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, you may tax your brawn and your brains, 
but you promised true, and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. Now, a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern cold. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb in my heart, how I curse that load. In the long, long night by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring howled out their woes to the homeless snows of God, how I loathed that thing. And every day that quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow and on i went though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low the trail was bad and i felt half mad but i swore i would not give in and i'd often sing to that hateful thing and it hearkened with a grin till i came to the marge of lake clabarge and a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, but I thought I saw it a trace. It was called the Alice May. And I looked at it, and I thought a bit, and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. <laughs> Some planks I tore from the cabin floor. And I lit the boiler, boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around. And I heat the fuel higher. The flames just soared. And the furnace roared. Such a blaze you seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal. And I stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I made a hike. For I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled and the huskies howled and the wind began to blow. It was icy cold, but the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks and I don't know why. And the greasy smoke in an inky cloak went streaking down the sky. And I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear. But the stars came out and they danced about ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm. And the heart of the furnace roared. And he wore a smile. You could see a mile. And he said, please close that door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee. It's the first time I've been warm. <laughs> ah, there are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic Trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge, I cremated Sam McGee. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Very good. That was fun. Very nice. Now I have to go and read and listen to it later. That was fantastic, Paul. <laughs> Not bad, huh? I love the illustrations. Where did you find the illustrations? Oh, on the internet. <laughs> it's very resourceful. Uh, all copyrighted material, so I'm in trouble now with somebody, or a lot of people, probably. <laughs> when aren't you in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> but, written a lot of great poetry. You should... 
Oh, Robert Service is fabulous. The poetry that he's written. I have this whole collection of poems. Yeah, I love that. And that's one of my favorites. Scotty, now, now he, I feel in better that, 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 that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, was, I was glad it wasn't a real person. Yeah. Hey, Jim, <laughs> Jim, I was telling him, Jim thought it might. We had a family member by the name of McPhee, yeah. <laughs> and no, no, me. Yeah, he, well, as a matter of fact, Jim McPhee's been gone a long time, Jim. <laughs> but we didn't know that. <laughs> uh, hey, Colleen, did you did you see that? Okay, Colleen, are you on there? I did. Uh, I am. I was on mute. Um, yeah, I saw it. It was, it was fantastic. Uh, Oh, I love yeah. all the illustrations, and you always do such a great job. I mean, oh, thank you. Now, Colleen is Jim's wife, and and her dad, her dad. I wanted to give a special shout out uh, to her dad. Uh, uh, lives in Kingsport. Well, uh, Colleen and Jim live in Kingsport, Tennessee. But uh, but actually, I was I was thinking of of Colleen's dad, and his name's McLean. And so, uh, so, uh, and he loves this poem. And I guess your mom, right, Colleen, your mom yes. loves this poem too. And that was so my mom's he, favorite poem. He was really looking forward to this. Of course, he's in a, in a home right now. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not on. I'm, I'm surprised I don't see him on. I thought he was gonna plan, he was planning on coming on, so. Well, he did, he does know how to watch us live on Facebook. So I want oh, you yes. all to give a shout out right now to, uh, to uh, 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 oh, what's his name? What's his first name? Dale, Dale McLean. Dale, that's it, Dale yeah. McLean. Everybody shout, give a shout out Dale. to give a Merry Christmas to Dale McLean. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he, he made us as we were growing up. We always had to call him Sam in public. We weren't allowed to <laughs> because really? he, didn't, he didn't want he, he and my mom were divorced and he didn't want the ladies to think he was old enough to have these three girls. So we had to call him Sam. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Sam. <laughs> well, we, we love you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's 90, 94. 94. Four years Paints old. All and the he's, time. Oh, he's sharp as a tack. Yes. Sharp as a tack. Yep. And I get up early, and uh, all the time he's on the he's on the horn to me first thing in the morning, five thirty <laughs> in the morning. Honest, oh. and he's always he's 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 a he's a hot Democrat. He's worse than me by ten times. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. he makes me look conservative. That guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Oh yeah, we have both fun though. Yeah. Did he ever, Paul? Did he ever show you his painting of the presidents? Yes. Oh yeah. He, yeah. He painted seven inch square, all forty five presidents. Yeah. And had he did it around started in July. I think he finished pretty quickly. Yeah. And yeah. Left that forty sixth block empty until his plan was until Thanksgiving when he knew for sure who to paint in the 46th block. <laughs> we, we had a debate whether we ought to wait till January 20th to make sure he's gone. <laughs> yeah, seriously, seriously. Oh dear. Like trying to pry a tick out of a dog's behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, Jim, well said. Oh. Um, so. So anyway, well, that that makes my day. Thank you so much for giving me the oh, chance to to, uh, to do that, and uh, and uh, I think uh, let's see what what else is there to what else is there to say? Any any news from anybody? Our snow's melting. Oh, the snow! Did you have a good time? That's right. That's the first time in a while you've had uh, a, a white Christmas, isn't it, Donna? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 1984 oh. was my Thanks. last white Christmas. 84. Oh, they wrote yeah. a book about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Okay. Well, yes, you were going to say, uh, Brother John? 
just gonna say blessings to everybody and we'll see ya. Oh, okay. Before you go, I um, I know that uh, that Scott and I and a few other people yeah. have some special intentions. So if, if you don't mind, I'd sure. like to end yeah. up sure. end up with a, a few moments of prayer, okay? Always so, open for prayer. So, okay, is that okay with you guys? Yeah. All right. Let, let me uh, let me go back and to my uh, screen sharing, <coughs> and we will uh, conclude with some prayers. So let's take some time for special intentions. This is, by the way, this is uh, the traditional site in uh, Bethlehem in the Church of the Nativity. This is traditionally uh, the, uh, 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 see, uh, this is the site that we uh, uh, commonly agree was the birthplace of Jesus um, in, in Bethlehem. I have been there twice. And uh, as you can see in 2020 now, there is a, a, a social distance is necessary and there's a nun with a a mask on and uh, I'd like to ask you uh, to remember uh, now uh, either quietly in your heart or aloud on your lips anyone uh, these uh, right now standing in the need of prayer. I'd like to have a prayer for my longtime friend Ed who is in the hospital with several aneurysms was just put in yesterday. So. For all who have COVID-19 for healing. For friends of mine who need of healing, Michael and Sandy and Tony and Gloria. My brother and Robert and my sister, Mary Jane, who are still, my brother, I'm still in hospital and making progress in life. Thankful for that. My sister is being comforted in her isolation by her many children and grandchildren, great-grandchildren by Facebook. Thank God for that. But also the helper of each day mm -hmm. and facing the day with confidence. And for all who are alone on this this time of year, who, by no fault of their own, but to protection. Uh, for instance, I'd like to pray for Cindy's brother Bobby, who was alone, and his best friend uh, died on Christmas Day. Oh, geez. And I'd like to, and so he's his birthday. Uh, it's also it's a it's a year since his dad died, and. Um, so this is a, a, a it's a difficult time for for Bobby and his birthday. I'd like to pray for all those who are in uh, homes and especially for Dale. And I'd like to ask for uh, if we could sum up all our prayers and praises and the words our Savior Christ has taught us by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day, this day our kingdom. daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I'd like to uh, share with you a Christmas blessing that was written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Loving God, help us remember the birth of Jesus that we may Share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, the worship of the wise.
close the door of hate and open door, the door of love for all. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be thy children and Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven for the sake of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of God, the most holy, undivided, everlasting Trinity be with you this day and always. Amen. 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 And that, my friend, is that. So mm. how wonderful that you would join us. Thank you. Thank you, Father Paul. Thank you. <laughs> well, you got you got back to the house okay, Deb. Yes, I did. And I'll have to listen to the story again because I missed all of it. All right. Well, it's <laughs> it, it, it's up on the cloud. It's, a, it's in the cloud. I will find right. it. Uh, it'll be on my YouTube channel uh, first thing uh, tomorrow, okay? Okay. I will get it. Okay. It was lovely to see all of you guys. Happy to see you all. All right. It's good to see you all. God bless you, Colleen. Thank you. Okay. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Jim. You too, my brother. All right. All right. Good see, Good to see you, Sheila. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, brother John. Happy to you. Okay. Take care, Scott. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care, Brad. Brad. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Paul. Okay, thank you. Merry Christmas. Take care. Okay, you guys, how are you doing? How's Tennessee doing? Good. <laughs> How's Warm Michaela? A little bit. <laughs> How's Michaela? Oh, she's uh, slowly recuperating. Oh, recuperating from what? Me. Oh. <laughs> what did Michaela, you do say hi to her? Uncle Paul. <laughs> hi! Hi, Michaela. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, here's a big virtual hug for you, Michaela. <laughs> How's that? Can I have one too? Yes. I'm trying to get to my video. Can you guys see me yet? <laughs> Not yet, not yet. Well, it said start video. Uh, how about, uh, how about- I know that? why, there it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Where, where's Michaela? There she oh, is. Look, I need a hug, come over here and give me a hug. Hurry up. <laughs> give me a big hug. Oh, <laughs> hey. so good, Michaela. Oh, God bless you. Oh, where'd she go? Show there the she dog. is. <laughs> yeah, the house is a mess. But... Oh, the, where's the doggy? There's Reese's. Hey, Reese. Hey, Reese. Come here. <laughs> hey, Michaela, was Santa good this year? Yes. Oh, good. Anything special? Yeah. What, what, what did Santa bring this year? Uh, lots of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stuff. Cat got your tongue. I see. Yeah, yeah she's very shy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're beautiful as always. How are you doing? I'm I'm surviving. All right. <laughs> Everything. Well, it's, about it's just this this whole doing. working full time and and being um homeschooling is real oh. challenge. But honestly, I think she's doing better as I'm trying to get situated. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I think she's doing better in school than she was. Oh, I, I bet you're tougher directions. than any teacher that she ever going to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the, yeah. But um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a challenge, but we're- well, it's, it's impossible to juggle yeah. uh, teaching yeah. and a full-time job and all. And yeah. most of your work you do virtually or- yep. you have to, uh, Yeah. So yeah, doing... I haven't traveled since last February. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I know it's gonna, it's gonna change here soon. Yeah. 
my job also changed too. I don't know if you know, I was promoted into a manager role. Oh, really? I have, I have three people and we're hiring a fourth ah. managing. And I'm hoping I'm going to make them do all my travel. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hear of a good job for David, let me know. He needs to okay. uh, know it. Yeah, I will, I will keep my ears open. All right. All right. Well, okay. Well, you take care. Merry Christmas. Okay, thanks. Merry right. Christmas. Happy New Year. Okay. Happy New Year. God bless. Take care, Jim. All right, Captain. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Jim. As we're like in two different levels here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.